Let's see what's inside the accumulator. Here we go. Just now, with that bang, that's nitrogen gas coming out. This circ clip up top, this is the piston. The piston has an oil seal and rubber O-rings. Look here, these seal in the nitrogen gas. Inside is empty. The principle of this accumulator is actually very simple. The nitrogen gas down below acts just like a spring. When the oil pump builds up pressure, the piston moves down. Down below is the nitrogen gas, right? It provides a return force. This counterforce always maintains a constant oil pressure in the main line. This oil pressure supplies our gear engagement solenoids and clutch solenoids. All those solenoids use it. When these solenoids consume the pressure completely, the oil pump works again to build it back up. In short, Every time the oil pump cycles, the accumulator goes through one full cycle too, releasing pressure, then recharging, releasing again. That's the process. Over time, it wears down these rubber O-rings. Look here. This causes the O-rings to wear out. Once worn, the nitrogen leaks, internal pressure drops. Plus, the worn-off particles, these fine powders from the seals, circulate with the oil and gradually clog the solenoid filter screens, leading to insufficient oil supply to the solenoids. That's today's sharing. Learn more transmission knowledge. Like, subscribe, share.